So, on the 28th of February, 1968, these two people started a community and it's a social experiment to see if all people can live in one piece. Uh, 28th of February, 1968. And it's a experiment, basically, just to, oh look, more first pioneers arriving. So it's basically them two people started it because world's going to shit and people are not loving each other and we're just all human basically and we should be living all as one doesn't matter what race religion whatever we should all be living as one as we're humans so this is why the guys created it our era villa belongs to nobody in particular belongs the humanity as a whole following a struggle for control of the project the supreme court judge declares so yeah i'm gonna be learning a bit more about this and to see what it's actually like to see if is this a cult now nah, i don't know it could be like you never know where these type of places i know a lot of them that like, happen out in america but this is very uh, what's the word it's just, um tourist tourist so a lot of tourists come here so i can't really say it's a cult but it's gonna be interesting to learn and see what this is about So that right there, that's meant to be the bird's eye view of this place and that little gold ball circle, that's meant to be the golden ball what's in the centre, but I don't know if I can see it from where I'm going to be, but I'm currently in a, it's a information, information area, just talking about the history of it and how it started and it's interesting it's very very interesting there should be 100 percent more places like this on the earth so this is the golden ball that i've gone about um, this is Very interesting how, the, how the sunlight goes down to change by just touch the crystal at the center. This ray travels straight down through the different levels of the structure to touch the lotus pond below, a complete link between the spirit and matter. So, this is what it's meant to look inside all the levels. And this is the Flower. Yeah, this is nuts. Inside the petals, there are 12 meditations, each named after an attribute of the mother and painted in the corresponding colour. The first eight represent attitudes towards the divine, the last four attitudes towards humanity. Which Okay, so according to their website, there's 3,000, over 3,300 permanent residents that live here, coming from over 60 countries. And that's uh, pretty impressive. It just figures like, why, why did they want to leave their countries to come here? What offers them? to come here from like moving from let's say like England, America, 
wherever they come from why is this so special special to the people that's what i want to figure out i don't know i don't know if i can speak to someone who lives here i don't know because i'm about to walk now to the big golden ball i forgot the name of it and i think that's all i get to see here i don't know about the people the community that lives here like that's what i want to figure out why all these people moved here like i want to know if they're just working inside the place do they have like normal jobs going outside or was it literally just one big community inside is everyone doing work and farming and whatnot that's that's the that's the question that i need to figure out i want to know because and I think of stuff like this, I just think they're just so um, away from the public and normal, the normal things in life, the normal society and just, and whatnot. But um, yeah, so I think we're just gonna go see the golden ball now, ball. All right, nearly there now, but look at this tree. This is odd, like, what, what's, they're all like connected from like the ground to the tree. Wait, this is what? Well, that is baffling. <laughs> That's actually, are there other trees planted and connected to the big tree? That's a, that's a bit nuts. But anyways, all right, we're gonna be there in about two minutes made it literally like two minutes later anyway but this that is it the golden ball i mean got a little construction going on but that doesn't matter does it guys so yeah that's it that's it just gonna have a quick look at these what it's about and ceremony 28th or 68 a white un and the shape of a lotus bud has been placed on top of a small mound. The construction of the amphitheatre started in 72, but it was only in the 90s that it was finally clad with red sandstone. So yeah. Oh man. I wish I could get closer. That'd be sick, but... But yeah, this is... Oh, and by late 65, they had time to define the centre of or reveal in front of the map of the area north of the Pondicherry, the mother concentrated and pointed to the particular area. The architect Roger a a Anger found there a solitary banyan tree, a tree regarded as a sacred in India in a to in totally barren overlooking the Bay of Bengal. So yeah, I mean that's I think that's really it, man. I thought you could actually do more here, but oh, pain in the ass. But I'm gonna chill out and relax for a bit, and I'll probably just show you where I'm staying. You know what? I'm quite disappointed about that. Where I thought it'd be a bit more touristy, yeah, because it is a bit more touristy. I kind of thought it'd be a bit more like a show and tell kind of, like. They'd have, I don't know, someone that you can speak to about this and like, instead of just like reading off the wall or whatever, that only gives like so much information that like you'd want to speak to someone who's actually like living there and actually to see what it's actually like and how they live and what they do in their day-to-day -day lives. How is it so different from the outside world and all, all, all of that stuff. Quite disappointing, not uh, not seeing none of that. But it always is, isn't it? It's always an anticlimax to my films. So, head back now to the bike to go. I'll show you Rock Beach, it's not too bad. You know what? I'll show you Rock Beach at night time because it's a nice little vibe and show you the French colony houses that were there. What's going on people? I know this ain't the best best uh, angle of me but nice bit of cup of pineapple right now and I made it to Rock Beach 
and there's bare white people, like a group. This is the most... <laughs> I've seen white people all together, a group, and it's amazing. I only see a bunch of white people when you're like at a resort or something, but it's amazing seeing bare white people in one place out in India. But look, it is gorgeous. It is absolutely random. It is busy. So, yeah. I mean, it's a nice little, nice little spot to hang out night time when the sun comes down because humidity out here is disgusting you're sweating but that's it man honestly if in Pondicherry come down here get a nice little cup of pineapple sweeten yourself up and enjoy a nice little walk down the beach but I'm just leave it there see you guys in the next video adios